Uncle Joms, your host, the host with the most. Welcome to another session of question and answer time. I'm here with a man like King. How are you, sir? I'm not too bad, Uncle Drummer. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm not too bad myself, Easy. mate. Pleasure, pleasure to have you on the show, mate. Definitely, bro. All right, excellent. First question I want to ask you. Yeah, the first question I want to ask you is, how do we, as a culture, strengthen up our culture, black culture? How do you, how do you see black culture in 2015, and how would you say we would strengthen it up? I say, I think like, first of all, we need to like look at black culture at the moment, and I mean, growing up in my day of black culture was like very West Indian. Um, you had your your Af Africans. You had um, a few few Somalians, for example. But everybody's like always like stuck to their their own cultures from back home. People mm -hmm. haven't really had a proper relationship, like where all the other nationalities like come together, which can be a problem at times because it's like people fear what they don't understand. It's like people don't even people where I'm from don't even like people talking in different languages around them. For mm -hmm. example, people just feel uncomfortable with it. And what I'm finding with the, the culture now, a lot of people are coming more together, but maybe on a younger level. Maybe on a younger level because we're feeling like that this is the time where maybe certain things from the past, some of the ways have to be broken now. Yeah. But at the same time, I say in terms of culture, I think I see that the music plays a big part of in bringing people together. Mm -hmm. That's where I feel like some of the culture lies because I, f I find that the fact that the, the foundation before didn't set no foundation now, it's like it doesn't really have that much roots. Got you. You know? Got you. So I, I would say that music brings people together and I feel like in, the, in years to come, like definitely people will break the mold. So right now you'd say the music is the way to yeah, strengthen, strong, strengthen the culture? It's a strong influence. All right. You know what I mean? All right, excellent. Next question is, real yeah. fast. Are black youth nowadays, would you say that they are in the right state right now or would you say they're in a the wrong state? Would you say that they're going good or would you say that things are going bad? Well, I would have to say that It's like a roller coaster. <laughs> That's the last one way of putting it. It's like a roller coaster. Up and down. Up and down. Fluctuating. Fluctuating. Yeah, just like the footsie. Mm. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's up and down. And look, the problem is that I find is that everybody wants to be somebody, and within that, there's a, there's, there's there's a lot of complications. And from a from a young youngster's perspective. He wants to be somebody for mainly the wrong reasons. And within that, when you talk about everybody has to do a bit of work to get where they want to be. Yeah. Look how many look how many kids work to a grave. True. And you know I try to tell tell him you that that's that's not work, you know. <laughs> mm. That's not a nine to five that's not a nine that's not a nine to five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. people wanna be like really looking forward to because life is beautiful if you know what's out there mm. and luckily for myself I've had opportunities to travel the world as you know and, and be here and see how other youths are living and etc etc and you know what I, I, I say like things ain't the best but hopefully people wake up you know what I mean it's 2015 and we need to man yeah, yeah, you're right. 2015, we need a change. We definitely need a change. All right, excellent. Last question I'm going to ask you now, yeah? Fire away, bro. How would you say that we build a better, stronger black economy, even if there is one? Because some people see black economy as own to food shop and to barber yeah, shop, yeah. and that's about as far as it goes. How would you say that we build on that? Well, looking at the current situation, I'd say that more people need to be, not necessarily entrepreneurs, but more business, mm. more business. I mean, 
people have a tendency, I think, to be in a situation where they don't want to get their feet wet when it comes to doing the, the, the stuff that should come natural to you. People find it easier to do badness and madness than do goodness. And you know what, you need to reverse that. I think a lot of people from the past didn't, a lot of people didn't come with that brain. You know what I mean? But you know what? Every you need to ask yourself, every time you go in a shop and you're you're spending in that shop and you're thinking to yourself, that other man's giving back to his community, that next man's giving back to his community, that guy's giving back to his community, what are we giving back to ourselves? Because mm. we don't necessarily have that many shops. Yeah, so at the end of the day, I believe that if people got themselves off their asses got more businesses, looked at how other people are doing their thing and said to themselves, do you know what, reality check, why can't I do that? Why can't I do this, you get me? At the end of the day now, we all sit down and watch all these American guys and they're doing this and they're doing that, but you know what, everything is from groundwork to hard work and you know what, if we don't start somewhere, then the economy thing that we're trying to get will never happen. At the end of the day, it can happen, but it's for us to show that you know what, we do have the unity and we can unite and we realise it's not about a using thing, it's about a family thing. And all families will grow from that and help other families to be out of the problems that they're in at the moment. And that's that's what I would say, basically. All right, man, love, the, love, the, love that energy. Definitely. Love that vibe, mate. And big up yourself, King. Yeah, wicked. Respect, yeah? Every time. Yes. Yeah.